Business Math students. Today we're going to talk about health insurance. Health insurance is Chapter 7, Section 2. And we're going to talk about first, what is health insurance? Well, health insurance helps protect you when you have the medical expenses. It helps cover them so you don't have to pay all those bills out of your pocket. Group health insurance is a job benefit that your employer gives your, their employees to help them pay for their insurance for their families. Group health policies usually provide basic health coverage, including these three things, hospitalization insurance, surgical insurance, and medical insurance. So first, hospitalization insurance is where it helps pay for the expenses when you're in the hospital, such as the hospital stay itself, the hospital room, medicine that you get while you're in there, lab tests and x-rays, the operating room, and so forth. Surgery insurance includes the coverage for the fees of the doctors themselves that perform the surgery in or out of the hospital, because you can have an in, in the hospital surgery or out of the hospital in surgery. Even if you have like a ward removed, that's considered out of the hospital surgery. Medical insurance pays fees of other doctors you see in or out of the hospital. So example number one, <clears throat> we have Leela's employer offers a health insurance plan that covers Leela, her husband, and their child. So usually when you have a job benefit like this, it comes in like two or three different parts. You can have coverage for just yourself. You can have your coverage for yourself and your spouse, or you can have coverage for yourself, your husband and your children. Now it doesn't matter how many children you have, if it's one or four, it's still the same price. But in this case, it's on Leela, her husband and her child. The total monthly premium is $285. So every month that's how much they have to pay for the insurance. Now that cost gets split between the employer and Leela, of which the employer pays 26%. They pay 26, so Leela has to pay the other 74%, which makes up 100% of the $285. How much does Leela pay for health insurance for one year? So let's first figure out how much they pay for the year, the employer and Leela together. So number one, they pay 285 times 12 months. So together, the employer and Leela pay $3,420. That is the cost for health insurance. insurance for the year, per year, okay? So that's them together. We want to know just how much Leela pays. So let's figure out first how much the employer pays and then we'll subtract that out to find the difference to see how much she pays. So we got 3,420 for the year times 26%. 0.26, or you can use 26% in your calculator. So the employer pays out of that 3,000, they pay 308, or no, sorry, $889.20. This is the employer's part. The difference between these two is how much Leela is going to pay. So 3420 minus the $889.20 gives you $2,530.80. That's Leela's. Um, 
down payment for the year. Now you can say, Miss Shepard, why don't I just figure out how much hers is and I don't worry about the employers. You can do that. You can do that by saying, okay, instead of doing it this way, the other way you could do it is first, we would still have to figure out how much total, but then you'd say 100% minus the employer's 26% gives us 74%. So I know that Leela pays pays 24% of her health insurance. So now I can just figure out what 24% of the total cost for the insurance times 0.74. It will still give you the $2,530.80. And I don't have to do that subtraction part. Just be careful what they're asking you. Are they asking you for Leela's part or the insurance company's part? Together, however, they're going to make up this 3420 Even if she doesn't use the insurance the entire year, it's still covering them just in case something happens. Somebody breaks their arm. Somebody falls and gets hurt. It will cover some of their medical expenses. It will help them. All right, moving on. So I'm on page eight in your packet. Health insurance benefits and coinsurance, annual deductibles amounts, annual deductible amounts. We've talked about deductibles before. The deductibles have to be paid before the insurance company will start to pick up on the bill. So you have to pay that first. For example, a lot of insurance companies to deter you from going to the emergency room they say their deductible is between 50 or 350 to five, even $500. You have to pay the first $500 of the deductible in that ER visit. So that's how they're discouraging. They want you to go to um, your family doctor first. But if, of course, if you have to go to the emergency room, you go there. But a lot of insurances make you have a deductible for that. So annual deductible amount, upfront amount, the person must pay before the insurance company pays. Coinsurance or copayment, portion of the bill patient is required to pay can be a dollar amount or a percentage of the bill, just depends. So here's where we get to these um, um, things that I've highlighted up at the top here and it is on your packet on page eight. It says the total bill minus the covered amount equals the uncovered amount. So they may look at a bill and say, it's a thousand dollar bill. We're not going to cover 500 of it. So right off the beginning, the covered amount we know is 9,500. So we have to pay that first 500. That's the uncovered. Then the covered amount minus the deductible times the co-payment rate equals the co-payment. So, so far, they're going to have to pay the amount that's not covered, and then they're going to have to pay the co-payment. And then finally, we're going to add up the uncovered amount plus the deductible plus the co-pay amount and gives you the amount the patient must pay. And let's look at example two because that'll make it hopefully make more sense to you. So example two says Jolene underwent surgery for an injury. The hospital portion of the bill was $5,298, of which only 4,875 was covered. So that's what we're talking about here. The total bill was 5,298. They're only willing to cover 4,875. So the difference between those two is the uncovered amount. So let's figure out the uncovered amount right now. So 
So 5,298 minus what's covered, 4,875. So the uncovered amount is $423. This is not covered, meaning Jolene needs to pay this. So I'm going to put a J there. She has to pay this. That's the first thing that she has to pay. So this is not covered. So let's keep reading. In addition, the co-payment amount of the bill was 18%. And the remaining deductible she had for the year was 300. Remember we said we had to pay that 300 before the insurance company is going to pay anything. So she definitely has to pay this. She, we know she has to pay the deductible of 300. How much of the hospital bill must Jolene pay? So let's figure out the covered amount minus the deductible. That's our next step. So we did step number one here. Total bill minus covered amount uncovered. Now we're doing this covered amount which was the 4,875. We have to subtract the deductible minus the 300. But let's circle that because Jolene does have to pay that. So let's put a J there so we remember. So we know now we have to pay this and that so far. Then we're gonna times that by the co-payment rate. And what was that co-payment rate? If you look in your reading, it was 18%. So times it by 0.18. So I'm going to do this part first. So when we subtract those, you get $4,575. I subtracted that. Times it by the 18% gives me the copay, which was 800 $23.50, that's the copay. And again, Jolene has to pay the copay. We'll put a J here. So now we need to figure out what total she has to pay. She has to pay this not covered amount, 423, the deductible, 300 that she hasn't paid yet, plus the copay amount. So Jolene's going to pay 423 plus the 300 plus the $823.50 gives us a total cost of $1,546.50. That is what Jolene pays. This is our total right here. Now, yes, that is still a lot of money that she's paying. However, if she didn't have the insurance, she would have had to pay the total bill of 5,298. When you look at it that way, 1,546.50, is a lot better than $5,298. All right, so that's it for this lesson. You're going to definitely need this information when you're doing your homework. Your homework is on page 9 of your packet, and it's assignment page number 292 through 293, questions 4 through 18. Try them. Don't give up, just try them. You'll get credit as long as you make an attempt, as long as you try, do your best. Read through this again. Give Miss Field or myself a call if you have, or send us an email. If you don't understand something, we're willing to help you. Make sure you get this in on time. And as, as always, be safe, be healthy, stay home, and have a wonderful day. Bye.